Hello there, this is Rum Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Build your power. Look, I know a lot of men be on, you know, listening to different uh, people talking about what to do to get women. But you know what? One thing that women are definitely attracted to in a man is power. And this power can be in myriad ways. It could be his... uh, his like mere physical power, women, there's been studies that have shown that women are attracted to men uh, who, you know, who are strong, physically strong, you know, depending on the situation, could be his intellectual power, his knowledge, depending on the subculture. And let's be real, yo, let's be real. Now, even though I always say a man can get sex, you know, without spending money, let's be real, there's it, they ain't most men. If a man got money, a woman going to at least stop. I would just say to the men, just be very careful on the women you get. But it's still an aphrodisiac, you know, particularly if the man uses it to create a certain lifestyle or something, right? You know, you just got to be more careful. But it is a form of power. And let's be real. And it's about the money part, too. That goes beyond getting women. That goes beyond power means that you can move through the world with authority. You can get things done. You can influence situations to your advantage. And there's multiple ways of doing that, you know? And like I said, money could be one one power, but, you know, that's kind of fun. There's some people out there who are making a lot of money, but they don't have any influence because they're making their money, but they're still working for somebody else or something. Right. Or they don't know how to use it in such a way to influence people. And then you got some people, they got some power just on the sheer force of their personality. Like you got a man who's truly, you know what, I don't use the term alpha and beta a lot. But if you get, let me use that term so people can understand. If you get a man who's truly alpha, truly alpha, what that mean? He's a leader. He's take charge. Something happening, and he's just going to go out there and take charge. That's power, you know? And there's so many, you know, it could be your knowledge, whatever. But whatever your power is, whatever you can do to influence people, you got to do it. You got to build it, right? Let me me jump on that knowledge thing because I know a lot of people don't really talk about getting knowledge, but... If, it, if there's a situation where because of your knowledge, you the expert in a certain situation, you get a lot of attention. I use the example with this COVID thing in Dr. Fauci. You know, nobody heard of him before this. All of a sudden, he's in an influential position. Or, you know what, you could be, uh, I don't know. I don't know, it could be anything. You could have that type of personal power where, or charisma where you can influence a group of people to do things um, in your favor. That's power. Because I'm going to tell you what, the biggest problem with a lot of men in this culture is the sense of not being pow- not having any power. You know, that whole victim mindset, like I don't have any control over anything. You know, don't have any power over their financial circumstances. Don't have any power over where they live. Don't have any power or influence over other men around them. You know, they might be on the uh, bad end of being bullied, bullied or something. Or, you know, they can be on a job and not have any real influence, right? And we ain't even get into, like, the thing with women. Because a lot of men feel like they don't have any way to influence women or any real power over women, Right? But what you got to do is you got to just sit there. You got to stop and think, okay, what do I have going on? Let me build that up, you know, whatever it is. And if it could be multiple things, that's even better. Like, let me me throw in body game. Let me throw in body game. I'm going to tell you something now, right? I don't always lift just for aesthetics and stuff. Seriously, I don't necessarily lift for aesthetics, you know. I lift because the feeling is I can move some heavy weight around. And that heavy weight can translate into moving another human being around. Or, if necessary, going at them with full force. That's power right there. You know, if you walk, if you can walk the streets and you ain't physically 
worried about anything. Or if you don't want to uh, hit the gym or something and physically be strong, may, you know, it's a sense of power if you're a martial artist. If you're a martial artist or something and you're a fighter. Now, I've known plenty of fighters in my life. I've known like some top level martial artists in my life. They are very peaceful. Why? Because they can move through the world with a sense of calm. They knew something came their way. They could deal with it, right? And, you know, like I said, different things. Money, you know, money gives you influence. Think about it. It gives you influence, you know. And I had mentioned, like, yeah, yeah, it definitely influenced some women, though I wouldn't trust the women it influenced. But think about it. Think about it. If you got that money, you got enough money, you have a better shot of living where you want to live, getting a good deal on a car, eating the food you want to eat, shoot, having people treat you a certain way when you walk into a restaurant or something. You know, seriously, it does influence people. Trust me, they shoot, you walk in and all you got to do is go to a real expensive restaurant one time, give a good tip. That influences them. Seriously. And then, you know, you got, you got, if you got that money, you generally will have good credit. Trust me, there's a big difference. Anybody would know who's been on both sides of the equation. I ain't going to lie. My credit is shot, was shot, you know. I'm just now building that joint back up, right? I'm just now building that shit back up. That shit was pitiful. <laughs> but I noticed the difference. And, and let me just real quick, before anybody say anything, that's what happens in business. Anybody been in business know you got some ups and downs, and, you know, I took a big hit. And like I said, got it built back up, and there's a big difference between, there's a very, very big difference between having, like, a credit score in the 500s and a credit score in the 800s. There's a massive difference. Shoot. That, that one, you go you go buy something and go any place and they run your credit score just to get a car or something. They see it's in the 500s. They, they looking at you a certain way. Shit. Credit score in the 800s. They embarrassing you and everything, but it influences. And that's just a reality in this society. That's just a reality. And, that's, and, and for that money part, that's why I always say, if you really want to make, make money, don't do it for women. Do it for yourself. Do it for yourself, you know, the feeling that you can move where you want to move and all of that stuff. And that's just one form of power, you know, because I'm going to tell you what's really powerful. That person who just through their sheer force of personality can get things done, just how they carry themselves, how they interact with people. And some people got it. We've all seen that one person. They ain't, they ain't spending money. They might not even be physically big or something. But by the sheer force of their personality, people, they influencing people around them. That's power. So whatever the case, build the power. Figure out what it is about you that can be built up, you know, and build that up. And if you got multiple things that you could build up, boom, boom. In fact, I would say build up the multiple things. Because uh, one thing my philosophy is, you know me, I'm the genius bruiser philosophy. Shit, build yourself up physically and mentally. That's power. So build build your physical self up, build your financial self up, build your intelligence up. And hell, when you deal with women, build your sexual power up. When you got all of that, boom, power. So anyway, that's all I got for today. I want y'all to work on that. Um, work on that, all right? So anyway, I'll talk to y'all. Peace and blessings.